Hello. Hello, this is Fresh Tomatoes. I'm Taylor. And I'm Sam. And today we're reviewing Hagen dazs Cherry Vanilla Ice Cream. There you go. And... This is something I've always <clears throat> wanted to try, but I just haven't. Mm -hmm. Just because I... I don't know. Just because when I think of like ch cherry and ice cream, I think of Cherry Garcia um, from Ben and, ben and Jerry's. And whenever I mentally go into something, mm. comparing it to something else, it always turns out bad, mm. but... Good color. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be just vanilla ice cream. Um, yeah, it's like a... Yeah, you can see it's kind of it's kind of cherry vibe. It's cherry kind of like ish. light purple -y. Yeah, yeah. It kind of has a little... Yeah. The description says that it is our iconic vanilla ice cream. Crafted from Madagascar vanilla blends with sun-ripened black cherries to create this deliciously rich flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a bite at the same time. So for in-store ice creams, I think haagen -Dazs is the best tasting one with the base and everything and their texture. I think it's better than Ben & Jerry's, I think. But if you want toppings, go for Ben & Jerry's. But I think haagen -Dazs is the best grocery store ice cream. And... um. <laughs> For, like, you basically, you're saying that you think they have the best base. Yeah, yeah, I like their base. I like just, like, their vanilla, their chocolate, their... Yeah. Yeah, just, I like the flavor of it and the texture of it most. Yeah, we used to be big on Ben & Jerry's, but we've kind of transitioned to mainly having Haagen-Dazs in the house. Mm -hmm. And in these reviews, we're picking one thing every Ooh. day. Every day. That's a good cherry bit. Big fat cherry. One thing every day... <laughs> That we have never tried before, but we have always kind of wanted to try or we want to try. Yeah. You know, and then we review it. We review it on a scale of 0 to 10. We can use decimals. And that's why we're called Fresh Tomatoes. Because we're not rotten. We're fresh. Ready, set, go. Okay, so the base, to me, I'm not getting much cherry, even though it's colored. I'm still getting vanilla. That's just what I'm getting. I don't know what about you. It does say that it's vanilla ice yeah. cream. Yeah, I think they just colored it Yeah. For, for appearances, which worked. I got happy when I opened it, but then I got sad I when I tasted wanted, it. I actually wanted it to be yeah, white. Yeah, me too. No. Oh, oh, you want it white? I wanted it oh. white. Oh. Because it's like... If you're going to call it vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be purpley. Mm -hmm. I wanted this color with this flavor. <laughs> I mean, their vanilla is good. I don't like vanilla ice cream. I never like vanilla ice cream. And this vanilla, I can eat, actually eat. I mean, so it's good. There aren't many... The downside about haagen -Dazs, okay, this is Ben and & Jerry's and haagen -Dazs to me. They always compete. They're right next to each other in the grocery store. Ben & Jerry's has too many toppings, and haagen -Dazs doesn't have enough. I disagree. <gasps> <laughs> I'm just somebody who doesn't like a lot of toppings. There isn't any cherries in here. I didn't, um... There's none. You got the one cherry. I want to try some cherry. I'm not a big topping person. Would you agree Ben & Jerry's has too much? Mm-hmm. You're right. Maybe this one doesn't have enough. It's just that when we've had... We've had their mint chocolate chip. And that, I personally feel yeah. like that has too many well, chips. Okay, how many, like... I don't really... It does have too many chips. But how many people actually like chips as a topping? <laughs> like, chips aren't a good topping. Mm. Like, chocolate chips? I don't know why people... They stick in your teeth. There is the texture is just the same. I mean, it's tough because like we've had a lot of ice cream and a lot of Haagen Dazs, and this isn't one of my favorite. Here's my issue: if it were white, like because it's called, it says it's vanilla ice cream. If it were white. I would be less critical, mm -hmm. but because it's like this purpley color, my brain is a little bit confused that it's like purpley and I'm not tasting like a cherry yeah. base. It's disappointing, right? 
it's like kind of disappointing because your eyes are expecting something more flavorful yeah and um, it's just vanilla yeah but it's like we're you go into it knowing that it's gonna be a vanilla base but when you see the purple it's like but that's why the mint's cool it's like you see that it's white and it's like mint like when something is white and flavorful it's like whoa but then when something is colorful and not flavorful it's like ooh. Mm -hmm. all right you have a rating i find this ice cream very disappointing it's not bad let's get that out there it's not bad it's good ice cream it's good tasting ice cream it's good vanilla if if you want vanilla ice cream with two hint. cherries in the whole thing <laughs> get this kind do you think that there's a little cherry flavor infused in the vanilla no and that's why it's colored i don't i don't taste that let me let me taste with my eyes closed Okay, now taste it with one eye closed. <laughs> Did you taste it? I think it has the tiniest little hint of vanilla. <laughs> no, I no, knew I mean, you of cherry. That. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Just, because, just because it's like, you see little speckles. You know, you see that? That's vanilla. No, those little speckles right there. No, but I mean, just get a little, a little bite of just the base. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. When you eat it, it tastes like vanilla ice cream with maybe the tiniest hint of cherry. You need the cherry. You, you need the cherry um, toppings in order to taste the cherry, really. If, so, you, if you want to think there's cherry in there, you can. That's the amazing thing about your mind. If you want to close your eyes and be like, mm, I'm tasting cherry, you will. It's vanilla ice cream. All right, do you have a score? It's vanilla ice cream with the tiniest hint of cherry, and there are cherry toppings, but the, so far, well, from what we've experienced, there aren't enough cherry toppings. Um, no. I think this is going to be the worst thing we've tried yet in our... Is this, is our, is this our sixth episode? Mm-hmm. I'm going to give this a two. What? <laughs> 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 okay, honestly, it's not like two is like, like absolute shit ice cream. Like this is good tasting ice cream. It's just boring. It's just not really what we'd expect. I give it a two. Okay, she gives it a two. Since okay, for me personally, the rating system is like seven and better. Is I would get this again. I would get this again, not for the show, but just for for something that I want to eat. So I think it's just a couple notches below of something I'd get again. So I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a 5.9. Because it's, you know, it's good ice cream. Like if you like vanilla ice cream and you like this color and you know, all these things like- I hate to break it to you, but this doesn't taste exactly like their vanilla ice cream. Their vanilla ice cream tastes more vanilla-y and okay. better. Okay, okay, so it's, it, if you like vanilla ice cream with a hint of infused cherry bits, you'll like this ice cream just fine. <laughs> yeah, all I'm gonna say is that's gonna sit in the freezer and I'm not gonna touch it, so that means it's a two. Okay, she gives it a two, I give it a 5.9. All right, hey, that's I a review.